So, we're gonna talk about a very important ethical hacking tool used in web application penetration testing and used also in finding web vulnerabilities. It's a directory brute force tool, but still considered vulnerability scanner. Anyway, we're gonna introduce the basics of their Buster. It's one of those available tools in Kali Linux. It's free, GUI based, and easy to use. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. Action Star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. To effectively find bugs or vulnerabilities, you need to gather as many information as you could. One of the most effective way is to use directory brute force. This tool allows us to see the structure of the target website and to find most if not all directories and files, including the hidden ones. And why do we want to see the hidden files or directories? Because it's possible developers might have saved hidden valuable or sensitive information in these directories. Sensitive information such as backup files, system files, passwords, and many others. Directory brute force tool, how it works is it's either you use a word list of the most commonly used directory and file names, or you can also use pure brute force. Pure brute force basically try to match every single pattern from the character set specified. And obviously pure brute force is more resource intensive and longer time to finish. It's also not very effective. Their Buster is one of the most common directory brute force tool because it's available in Kali Linux by default. And of course, you can install it in your Windows or Mac devices. It's a multi-threaded Java application. GUI version is more commonly used, but CLI version is also available. Our topology is this simple. We have to host. Our attacker is the Kali Linux. And the target web application is the Hackett PHP auction. We're just gonna simply run and test their Buster tool to the target web application. I'm here in our Kali Linux, and we're gonna open our their Buster application. So under Web Application Analysis, I'm gonna click Web Crawlers and Directory Brute Force, and there you go, their Buster. Now our their Buster is up and uh, open. So next is I will enter the target application or URL, which is 172.192.168.254.70. Next is the work method. So I'm going to click use get request only because this will be faster. Auto switch will be a little slower because it will use both head and get request. The number of threads uh, will go, will go with faster because we want to send more threads as possible 200 is better of course but if we go 400 or up to 500 this may exhaust the target website and it will eventually become in, uh, unresponsive excuse me and it's kind of like DOS attack because of too many requests okay again we're gonna select go faster and we'll automatically uh, select the 200 thread options Next is select scanning type will go for pure brute force. Now, as I click pure brute force, this field here become disabled. Okay, why? Because we need to uh, use this option. So under character set, I will just choose uh, this option and then I will leave the minimum length and maximum length one to eight. So what will happen here is this will search for any possible directory and file names, one to eight length, small alpha, and numeric characters. The advantage of this is it can uh, find random and not very common names. Um, what else? By default, uh, recursive is selected, 
and this uh, it, this search further files and directories on every uh, directory spam okay so i will just disable this and we're gonna keep all other options default now let's click start and as you can see it start brute forcing this directory the slash the the web root directory and uh, the extension we chose the default which is php it will not be able to select or uh, search for other uh, extensions such as html um dot uh, text or any other it will only brute force the extension dot php now as you can see since we are using the pure brute force uh, as expected it's taking longer well way more longer than expected as you can see uh the current speed uh this is actually very fast 500 plus requests per second and the total request as you can see already more than 100,000 okay more than 100,000 and it keeps going now the time to finish as you can see uh we're talking about not just hundreds of days not just one thousands of days but one hundred thousands of days so this may take many long years to finish uh like what i mentioned the pure brute force is not something that you will be using in a, in a hack, real world hacking environment now if i click the uh, results um it started to find some common names such as index cell help okay these are the file i, I can actually click the type so it will show us the directory and files uh it found uh, how many directories five new directories and uh, it has searched it has found already um at least 20 files okay now if i click the results review this will show the website structure easier and simpler as you can see this is the web root directory okay and under images these are the php files that it has found okay same with the bid by new and temp directories now let's stop now we are going to go back to the main um page and uh, what we're gonna change is we're gonna leave the work method in number of threads what we're gonna change is the select scanning type so this time i will select uh the listed brute force which basically will use the word list okay and uh, we're gonna browse that word list file and uh, it is under user share then uh dear buster so let's search for the dear buster file excuse me uh dear buster directory there you go and then uh, we have the word list directory and from here you can select um many different world uh, word lists excuse me and uh, usually you will be selecting the directory list medium or uh the large file this one but since this is just a testing environment we'll just select the small world list.txt okay and uh, as you can see the character set and the minimum maximum length is disabled and um we are going to click start or we're going to leave everything else default so i'm going to click start now and uh it's starting to brute force um the web root directory and it's starting to find some common php file names a okay, footer header new help etc now if you look at these statistics current speed is again 500 plus requests per second and uh all right so time to finish look at this it's not really long it's it's just four minutes uh plus okay and uh, if we look at the result as you can see it has found many directories and files already okay so how many directories it has found for just a little amount of time um maybe less than a couple of minutes it, it already found more than 20 directories as you can see okay now if i go to the results tree view tab as you can see the structure is um easier to understand and as you can see we have we have found many directories logout is here uh request 
brand though it hasn't completed uh, the searching of the files at least the directories are here okay so we have uploaded uh we have search under search we have index.php icons okay and many more so we're not done yet but what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna pause this video and uh we'll review all of the files and directories it has found all right uh so it looks like it's done but still sending requests oh no it already stopped as you can see current speed zero requests per second so we're done now i'm gonna click stop and uh, as you can see we have a total of 79 files and uh as you can see there are many directories and files that has been found now the question is how accurate is this take note we selected if, if i click back we selected the small word list file obviously the medium and the large word list file is um better and it will give you a better or more accuracy now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change some options so instead of doing the brute force in the web root directory i will specify a directory so basically the brute force will be uh, done only to this specific directory and that directory will be slash docs not only that i will also uh, add more extensions so by default it's php but uh you can add more and as you can see if i hover my mouse in this field uh there's something that is showing us multiple extension can be added all we need to do is um add um comma and then i will add the other step extension okay and the other stack extension will be uh txt also uh i would also like to search for files with without extension you know black extension so i need to click this so let's start so as you can see it's sending uh, 400 plus request now now 800 plus requests per second and uh, this will only take us eight seven minutes so it's not that long since we are only specific to this uh folder this directory and if i click the plus sign as you can see we already found a uh, one file okay and uh, again this is not too uh long to finish and uh let's wait all right so we still have Two minutes plus time to finish uh, but do we have progress well if you look at this tab results review it only show us one file which is the, the features file uh, it doesn't show the other files that has been found but if you look at this tab the result list view as you can see there are more files that has been found it's not just features but also license installation.txt or .txt is also found and uh, most of these except for this file the installation.txt file are no extensions okay as you can see credits readme all of these have no extensions now we can wait for another two minutes uh but i think we're almost done uh maybe two few more files that hasn't been found um okay so let's wait we'll have to wait for another one minute and 50 seconds all right and as you can see it seems like it's done doing the brute force if i click scan information everything is complete and under result it didn't actually uh found any more files or directories okay and uh, under result preview uh it's just so strange because under a tree view we only see one um one file instead of six files it's supposed to be six files so anyway so here's the result uh like what i mentioned it's not always accurate because the word list that we selected is the uh the smallest file or the smallest uh words in the list so i'm gonna click stop now and then i'm gonna click view excuse me i'm gonna click back and uh, there you go this is just the basics of their buster of course 
we have advanced options, such as logging in with your user account, HTML parsing, adding custom HTTP headers, and many others. More web ethical hacking tools in other videos.